the first attempt to steal an automatic teller machine happened at this Exxon station on Allentown Road, which is right across the street from the main entrance of Andrews Air Force Base. The ATM at that location is outdoors. Security cameras caught the action at 4.50 in the morning as one of the bad guys wraps a chain around the machine while the other backs up a pickup truck. But the chain isn't long enough, so the driver in the pickup repeatedly backs up into a row of beverage coolers, ultimately pushing them aside. The chain is then affixed to the back of the pickup, but when the thieves drive forward, the chain falls off. They try again. The chain is attached, but the chain falls off again. At this point, the bad guys give up, but they come back to retrieve their chain before taking off because their night is not over. 22 minutes later, police believe a pickup truck was used at this Sitco gas station on Old Branch Avenue in nearby Camp Springs to ram into a cinder block wall. At this gas station, as the sign indicates, the ATM was inside the building, which was not yet open for the day. Not seeing the ATM on the cinder block wall side, the thieves smashed their pickup into a garage bay door on the other side of the building where they attacked the ATM. But the ruckus alerted police who responded. The two masked men fled in the pickup, then on foot into the darkness where they disappeared. Once again, they did not get the ATM. Earlier in the month, similar incidents occurred in Prince George's County and in D.C., with a pickup ramming into gas station buildings and the thieves successfully getting the machines, which were dumped later along with the stolen pickup trucks. No arrests in any of the cases. The ATM at the Sitco looked pretty beaten up, but the teller machine at the Exxon station was giving customers their money later in the day. And these coolers that hold the beverages that really got knocked around quite a bit, they're still working. The sodas are cold. In Prince George's County, John Henrahan, Fox 5 News.